3. Two technicians are discussing retrofitting CFC-12 systems to HFC-134A standards. Technician says that the process doesn't take long but that mineral oil must be added before the retrofit is complete. Technician B says that 50 ounces of CFC-12 should be replaced with 50 ounces of HFC-134A. Who is correct? OA both technicians A and B B. Technician B C. Neither technician A nor B O D. Technician A. Technician B. The older 12 had mineral oil in it and must be removed not added. If you are not ready to rate please keep replying so we can wrap this up. You have paid for your consultation. I am not paid for my time until you rate. If you stop replying and do not rate, the question will time out and neither of us benefit from the money you spent. Thanks. Remember that you can still follow up for 30 days after rating at no additional fee. You should see 5 stars across top of paid for rating. Until you rate I will get notifications that I need to finish answering the question. Hello sir. Technician B wrong. Technician B is correct. Technician A said we must add mineral oil, but we really must remove it. It's wrong. I have to retake the exam but this will be the last time I have to get the right answer. I am a 46-year veteran in the HVAC industry. I do not care what your little book says, mineral oil must be removed from the system when converting to our 134A. Our 12 uses mineral oil, our 134A does not. Research it on Google. I am here to help you, not argue with you. Let me find you some resources. Stand by. HTTPS colon slash com slash convert auto R12 system to our 134A slash scroll down page to read. You're right, sir. I have no information about that, but I'm asking to pass the exam. I'm taking this for my high school. What's the right answer to pass this exam? Oil types, https colon slash www.apc.com slash us slash n slash fax fa170922 slash. If technician A said we need to add mineral oil he is ignorant. LL traces of mineral oil must be removed. Now perhaps there is a qualm about the Oz to ounce ratio. Let me look at that aspect. Maybe they are both wrong. I just recognize the wrong oil first. I can't open the pictures. Can you email me please? At Okay I see what they want is answer. Neither is correct. The conversion ration is showing that we will only need 80% of the original charge. So instead of putting 50 ounces of our 134A, we will only add 40 ounces. Can you send the picture on my email please add? You should be able to open these links. Website blocks our emails. I'm trying to ask you about something. The answer is neither are correct. A is wrong because he said add mineral oil B is wrong because he said ounce for ounce and we should add 80% of original charge. I have more four exams. I need help with all of them. Every single one has 40 questions. 
Can you help me with all of them? Please. I can but the site bills per question. That can get expensive. I have 46 years in the industry. I will be glad to help but 160 questions is a lot and will take several hours. I know that. I can pay you for sure. If you want to send me a list of five questions at a time I will do my best to answer them. In the photograph above, the technician Isa. Removing the compressor magnetic clutch. B. Removing the compressor. C. Adjusting the compressor magnetic clutch air gap. D. Adjusting the compressor belt tension. Which of these is least likely a step in replacing a failed compressor? A. Flushing the system B. Disconnecting and sealing the hoses C. Inspecting the muffler D. Replacing the condenser orifice tubes area. Coded in American models only. B. Universally sized. C. Coded by number for easy identification. D. Similarly but not exactly sized. If an AC performance test shows a temperature of less than 45 degrees Fahrenheit at the center vent, the Sistema. Overcharged. B. Empty. C. Working normally. D. Undercharged. Technician says defective thermostat will cause the engine to operate at too cold of a temperature. Technician B says that there are various reasons for an engine to operate at too cold of a temperature. Who is correct? A. Technician A B. Neither technician A nor B C. Technician B D. Both technicians A and B. Give me a few moments on these. Sure. Thanks, sir. Do not see the photograph. You can add pics using add file button. Which of these is least likely a step in replacing a failed compressor? A. Flushing the system. Disconnecting and sealing the host. Inspecting the muffler. Replacing the condenser D replacing condenser. In the photograph above, the technician is A. Removing the compressor magnetic clutch. B. Removing the compressor. C. Adjusting the compressor magnetic clutch air gap. D. Adjusting the compressor belt tension. A. Removing the compressor magnetic clutch. Orifice tubes are A. Coded in American models only. B. Universally sized. C. Coded by number for easy identification. D. Similarly but not exactly sized. Be universally sized. 
If an AC performance test shows a temperature of less than 45 degrees Fahrenheit at the center vent, the Sistema overcharged. B. Empty. C. Working normally. D. Undercharged. C. Working normally should be 35 to 48. Technician says defective thermostat will cause the engine to operate at too cold of a temperature. Technician B says that there are various reasons for an engine to operate at too cold of a temperature. Who is correct? A. Technician A B. Neither technician A nor B C. Technician B D. Both technicians technician B. Such things as fan running constantly can also cause this. Please rate now and open new question with next list. Okay. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.